Hi Virgo, this is your July monthly tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this monthly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at love and it could be new love, love from the past, existing love, whatever comes up. Then in the second spread we'll uh, take a look at some good news for you Virgo for the month of July. And uh, in the third, the final uh, spread, we'll be talking about an advice for you Virgo for this month. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on love, Virgo. We have the Knight of Wands clarifying the Ace of Wands. Then we have the Page of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Then we have the Sun. In the potential outcome, we have the King of Wands with the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Yeah, a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. Um, so here's the deal. I was actually looking at it, looking at it, especially the, the part on the left, the main spread on the left, before I got those cards out for the uh, potential outcome. Um, and I was a little surprised <laughs> to see this. And, but then I got the cards for the potential outcome. I also saw the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And I, and I remembered something about you, Virgo. Virgos are really good at planning. Virgos are really good at strategies. You guys are really good at see, seeing the potential. And that's, I think, exactly what's going on here. Right? You will see the potential with this King of Wands. Uh, the first card in the potential outcome. Because in the beginning we have the Ace of Wands clarified by the Knight of Wands. And those two cards, the Ace and the Knight of Wands, represent the same person that we later see in the potential outcome, the king of wands. Okay, so maybe this person is a little younger than you, maybe this person um, is not like, um, maybe they're like very youthful, right? Or they're very passionate. It's like, uh, but, uh, but maybe they just need to be domesticated a little bit. Maybe the, you just need to tame them a little bit. All right, I, I think you will have a lot of fun with this individual in the beginning, a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of, um, f there's going to be a lot of physical attraction <laughs> between you and this person. But uh, you'll just know, you'll just know that uh, under your supervision, this person could become and probably will become this king of ones. I'm not saying you will need to babysit them. No, you'll just need to uh, be there for them. Um, and perhaps, like I said, you, you, something about this person already now that tells you that yes, this could be definitely somebody who is marriage material, somebody who is going to be, uh, who is going to become this king of ones. As of right now, ace of ones, the knight of ones, that's them, but uh, in the potential outcome, you're, they're the king of ones. Okay, and um, that's pretty much what's going on here. You will see the potential, right? So, Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, fire, it's a fire sign, right? Or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. Um, the Page of Pentacles, Clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're getting the show on the road with this person. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle, a very fortunate cycle. Um, and uh, the Page of Pentacles, it could be... You know, the Page of Pentacles could be something tangible, something you can touch. So it could be something small, something symbolic. Uh, it could be pretty much anything. It could be a key to your place, a key to their place, a piece of jewelry in a small box. <laughs> you know, anything. Something symbolic. Because this page, the Page of Pentacles, even though it's just a page, but they're clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. All right? It's clarified by, the, by a major arcana card. All right, so perhaps in the Page of Pentacles, we're also, it's also like the, pred something that happens before the Ace of Pentacles, right, on the bottom of the deck. Again, same deal, same story, right? And on the left, we have the Knight of Wands, and it becomes the King of Wands. On the left, we have the Page of Pentacles, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Right, same story, same deal. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, once in a lifetime opportunity, something long term, right? Something with a huge potential. All right, um, the Sun in the middle could be a Leo. You're doing know, right. Leo is a fire sign, but at the same time, the Sun is a card of clarity. So you'll be crystal clear that uh, yeah, it definitely leads to commitment in the future. Besides that, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck and I think you're, just, you're gonna be really happy with the way things are right now. You're gonna be... because this person is like very enthusiastic, very energetic. It feels like this person likes to explore things, they like to go places, they like to learn new play, new learn new things, do new things, <laughs> passionate things, and things like that, alright? 
in the potential outcome besides that uh, King of Wands, we have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, next level, like a like as next level as it gets from what we see on the left, right? The King of Wands, the, the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It's a card of um, unconditional love. It's a card of when two people are on the same page and the Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck is a card of a rock solid commitment of marriage. All right, so we're, we're switching from the Knight to and Page from the Ace. We're switching over to King to Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles level in the potential outcome. All right, really happy for you, Virgo. Congratulations. Here's some good news for you, Virgo, for the month of July. We have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. To be honest with you, Virgo, the very first thing I thought of um, the good news has something to do with this uh, Queen of Cups birthday. Um, if they're a Cancer, right? If this person is a Cancer, uh, if their zodiac sign is Cancer, it has something to do with their birthday. I don't know who this person is to you, but it's supposed to be good news for you. All right? I don't think you're the Queen of Cups here. No, I don't think so. I think it's another person. And even though I personally believe we are definitely capable of embracing uh, the energy of any King or Queen, right? But in this case, it's... It, the Queen of Cups is somebody else. Alright, so yeah, the Eight of Wands could be a part of communication or travel. And it could be you traveling for this person's birthday or this person is showing up for their birthday. <laughs> Maybe this is somebody who is um, usually not around. Or the, you could be invited to their birthday with that Eight of Wands. Alright, uh, the Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true. Uh, but it's also a card of uh, an event, right? And some tarot decks and the Nine of Cups people are standing around and celebrating. The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck could also be interpreted as a card of literally going somewhere just like the Eight of Wands. But uh, the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle in general, right? So maybe it's a new cycle, a new year starting for this Queen of Cups because it's their birthday. It's a new, you know, because that qualifies. Or it could be a new cycle starting for you. Perhaps you going to this person's birthday party is somehow going to be beneficial to you. You could meet somebody there, you could make new friends, or you could meet uh, someone there that will turn things or help you turn things around. Because the Wheel of Fortune could also be like when things turn around, things get better. Okay? Um, yeah, so the good news is somehow associated with this Queen of Cups and maybe travel, maybe their birthday, um, or something like that. Alright, so be on the lookout of, uh, of the Queen of Cups, a water sign, and maybe travel or birthday. Alright, so <laughs> let's move on to the third spread. Here's an advice for you, Virgo, for this month. Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Knight. Of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. That's one heck of a spread. You know, it could be challenging for me at least to sometimes interpret spreads from the advice perspective. All right, <laughs> so, so here's what I think is happening. Um, this will most likely apply to you if uh, you're gonna get a job offer or you're gonna get a contract offer or you're gonna get a promotion. Right, so you've got this Ace of Pentacles coming your way. In this case, the Ace of Pentacles, since we also have the Knight and the Ten of Pentacles later, further down, this is somehow associated with the way you make your money or could be making your money starting at some point in July. So it's yours. You got it. It's yours. You got the promotion, you got the job, you got the, you get it, right? However, however, don't Take it for granted. Don't rest on your laurels for too long. You will have to... There's going to be challenges after that. You got the job, you got the promotion, but after that you will still have to prove yourself. You will still have to defend uh, your position, defend your vision, defend, defend your way of doing things. Uh, defend yourself, right? I'm not saying you will you'll be like under attack physically, no, but you'll still have to prove it with that seven and ones, the next card over. Perhaps there's gonna be some people who are not happy about you getting promoted, about you getting that job or you getting that contract. So with the seven and ones you may still have to fight somebody off or, or prove yourself. Right? That you you got it because you deserve it, because you're the best. Right? And uh, after that, the Knight of Pentacles shows up. 
<laughs> so once you go through this portal, through this uh, def defensive um, uh, period of time with that seven months, then you will get even more money, you will get even more prestige, you will get even more recognition with that Knight of Pentacles. Because the Knight of Pentacles comes after the Ace of Pentacles, but you, got, you have to go through that seven of one stage or phase. Alright, and the Knight of Pentacles qualified by the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, it's money, it's even more money. Alright, the Ten of Pentacles is a card of um, um, real estate. And the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, by, by the way, it's a very decisive energy, right? With the Ace of Swords, nobody is, uh, nobody is uh, bending over, nobody is giving up, nobody is capitulating. The Ace of Swords is all about, yes, let's go, yes, let's do this. All right, for others of you, you could, if you're thinking about, if you're thinking about buying a home, <laughs> you may have competitors. Other people uh, may want to buy the same home, and you will have to outbid them. The seven of ones. This is you outbidding uh, another person or another couple. Even if you do offer a very decent um, uh, amount of money in the beginning of the day, because you may still have to outbid somebody else. I hope this makes sense, <laughs> Virgo. But it's all it's this spread is about finances for sure. The Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, those cards could be love in, interpreted as love, but uh, it doesn't feel this way because uh, the Seven of Wands eh, with the Ace of Swords, you know, again could be loving cards, but. I think it's work, I think it's business or finances in some shape or form. I hope this makes sense from the advice perspective. Alright Virgo, so that's what I have for you for this reading, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing month.